believe me, your life is only starting to become miserable. And Adam Copeland, your boyfriend, the love of your life, his life is only starting to become miserable. Because Monday was the very first day in my movement. And my movement will be to get retribution on you and against that piece of feces, Adam Copeland, When Matt Hardy discovered that Lita had been cheating on him with Edge, it is no exaggeration to say that he flipped out big time. What resulted was one of the most memorable storylines in WWE history, a storyline that blurred the line between work and shoot so that it was almost impossible to see where reality ended and fiction began. Hardy's relationship with Lita slipped through his fingers when he checked her cell phone while it was left unattended. But it wouldn't just be the relationship that ended that day, as he would also learn that one of his closest friends had betrayed him. Later, Hardy would even lose his job thanks to the infidelity on behalf of his girlfriend. As Lita became manager to Matt and Jeff in 2000, the relationship between Matt and Lita blossomed thanks to their mutual hunger to succeed in the wrestling business. Later, Lita would admit that all of their conversations revolved around wrestling and they both wanted exactly the same things from their job, sharing the same passion. However, outside of wrestling, they had little else in common and rarely spoke about anything apart from the business, Lita said in an interview. And I remember thinking, yeah, we're not going to be together when our careers are over because that's our bond. The way we view life, our interests don't really align. It was so weird because I was like, okay, so now that I know that, should we split up or... But I love him and I love our time together, so no. But I can't see growing old with this person. It was weird. Lita realised in that moment that Hardy probably wouldn't be a long-term relationship for her, especially looking to the future when they were out of the business. Matt, on the other hand, felt totally differently. To him, he felt like he would eventually marry Lita and that she was most definitely the one for him, considering their relationship had been going on for six years. Edge was in one of the hottest tag teams of all time, alongside Christian in the early 2000s, and they shared many memorable matches with the Hardy Boys, matches that were so spectacular they would go down in history. Edge was close friends with Hardy, which must have made the betrayal so much worse. In an interview, Edge said, Edge and Christian and the Hardys were great buddies, and we'll go to Outback after and grab a bite to eat and spitball ideas for matches and all those things. We didn't ride together. It was never that. It was always me and Jay or me and Lance. But we were obviously close because we made our mark together. So when you do that, you share something that you only share with them. In 2004, Edge had been singled out as a future main eventer and was already on the rise and playing the heel role brilliantly. By 2005, Matt Hardy took a leave of absence from WWE while recuperating from a number of injuries, leaving Lita to travel on the road herself. During her time alone, Lita became close with Edge. She asked her boyfriend for permission to carpool with the future rated R superstar as she needed emotional support, and Matt had no problems with that. They were all friends. After all, we also can't forget that Edge was married at the time too. As Lita started to realise that outside of wrestling she had nothing in common with Hardy, she connected on an entirely different level with Edge and it wouldn't be long before the truth came out. Hardy, by all accounts, was furious. News got out to the fans when Hardy pulled the photos of him and Lita down from his website and he was fronting questions about the situation directly from fans. While I understand the pain that is suffered in the aftermath of a love betrayal like this, I also understand why it was seen as unprofessional by WWE. They decided to suspend Hardy in the immediate aftermath of his revelations. The fans were, understandably, sympathetic towards Hardy, It was certainly difficult to take the side of Edge and Lita at the time. The fans turned on the pair in a big way every time they appeared on TV. For a time, they were beyond heels and were literally despised by WWE fans. Hardy despised Edge too, 
and he went as far as slashing the tyres on Edge's rental truck backstage. WWE made the decision to release Hardy from his contract shortly thereafter. His hot-headed conduct had lost him his job. Neither Edge or Lita wanted to see this happen and definitely shouldered a lot of guilt due to the situation. The firing only intensified the fans' response towards Lita and Edge. Never once to miss a money-making opportunity, WWE then brilliantly blurred that line between reality and fiction. Edge and Lita became an on-screen couple and were now the most hated heels in WWE. The duo found the entire story to be difficult to handle in reality, with Edge later saying he was never comfortable with the situation transitioning to on-screen. They weren't just getting nuclear heat from the fans, but from most of the locker room too. They went ahead with WWE's plans for the sake of their future careers. On screen, the characters and the situation was played up to 11. An in-ring marriage between the pair took place on Raw on June 20th, 2005. During the ceremony, Hardy's music played and the fans erupted. Shame for them that it was just a prank being played by the happy couple. At the same time, Hardy was legitimately losing his shit outside of WWE. Free to say and do whatever he wanted, he let everyone know how he felt about Edge and Lita. On his website, he wrote, After just watching Lita and Edge on Raw, it's very obvious what the WWE fans feel and believe. Madison Square Garden, which has been the WWE's barometer for years about what the fans really think, let them know tonight. Matt Hardy got shafted by a one-time close friend, by a woman I had given everything within me, and by a company I loved with everything I am. In July 2005, the unexpected happened. As Edge was walking backstage on TV, he was attacked by Matt Hardy. Later, Hardy would burst into the arena and addressed Edge by his real name, telling him he was about to start making his life miserable. The angle made Hardy the biggest babyface on the roster. The level of discomfort around the storyline continued to increase for Lita, who later revealed that she only went through with it so Hardy could get his job back. A grudge match was set for SummerSlam 2005 between Edge and Hardy. In the meantime, Lita appeared as a guest on WWE's internet-only show, Bite This. This was one of the storyline's most believable moments. While everything happening on Raw was clearly scripted, the live by this show felt like anything could happen, and it felt real. Hardy said, As time went on, it got a little easier and a little bit better. The most fascinating part about 2005 in my career was that you weren't able to tell the lines between what was real and what wasn't real, and where that line lies. In a supposedly unexpected moment, Hardy came through on the phone lines and unleashed his vitriol. The back and forth between the pair felt very real and unscripted. Apart from Todd Grisham, it was really well acted and it left fans wondering how much was real and how much was fiction. As mention was made of Ring of Honor and various other shoot terminology, it was one of the best examples of the worked shoot promo ever in wrestling. The only problem was it was a bit too real. By the end of the conversation, it was hard to not end up siding with Lita as she genuinely made a lot of good points, as Hardy was coming across as totally unable to let the past go and a little bit pathetic in all honesty, Lita was asking the real questions. She chastised Hardy for making the situation public and asked why she would ever consider getting back together with him when he's been acting in such an immature way. When Hardy started to question where it all went wrong with them, Lita quite rightly said she didn't want to talk about it in a public forum and then removed her microphone and walked off the set. Edge and Hardy went on to have some of the stiffest matches against each other in recent memory at the time. Eventually, Hardy left a loser leaves town match and went over to SmackDown. For Lita, the scars of the scandal and the storyline stayed with her, having a profound effect on the rest of her life, she said. But I'll tell you, it was not easy. I mean, for sure, I almost quit a month into the whole love triangle. At that point, not only was it so hard, it was also out of shame. Like I wasn't proud of how I conducted myself. Yes, if I had to do it all over again, I absolutely would have handled myself differently. But I didn't, so I was like, make the bed and you lie in it. And at that point, 
I was just like, I deserve all of these terrible things that everybody is saying to me. I deserve not wanting to wake up every morning. It was all so difficult as time passed to let myself off the hook. The only way you can move forward with your life is, sure, you learn from your mistakes and keep going, but you have to forgive yourself. For us fans, those stories that blur the line between fiction and reality can sometimes be the most interesting and enjoyable, but for those involved, it can be a very different story altogether. 